Hello and welcome to Paper Mache Patch. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful coral mixed media canvas. Gather your supplies and let's get started. Last year I did a couple videos with um, Delight Clay and Creative Paper Clay showing you how to make um, coral reefs, coral reefs and um, also using molds to make starfish and shells and stuff. So today I'm going to show you what you can do with these, another great idea of what you can do with them. So I am going to use a canvas and I am going to do some kind of arrangement on the canvas and add all my shells and stuff. I will probably use some eggshells. These are just crushed eggshells uh, for texture and maybe some sand. So I'm going to get started just by painting these first and then I'll move on to painting the canvas and add in the arrangement. I'm using Art Anthology paints for this. They have fantastic covers, colors rather. Um, they're dimensional medium in that it's great to use with stencils and stuff and it holds your brush strokes but when you put it on very thin it's a nice translucent effect that goes fantastic with the Delight Clay which is what I'm looking for for the coral. So I've grabbed a few colors here. I may or may not use them all. I haven't decided at this point. So I'm just gonna paint and um, when they're dry we will do the canvas. I am finished painting the coral and I have um, 
given it a spray with some gloss varnish and left that to dry outside. While it's drying, I'm gonna do my canvas. I'm gonna do it in blues because of course it's an undersea um, type of mixed media project. So I have some colors here. This is folk art turquoise. This one is aqua sky by apple barrel. And this is another folk art color. And this is Patino by Folk Art. I'm trying to look for the color on this one. Okay, this one is Cayman Blue. All right, so what I want to do, because I'm going to have my picture this way, I want to start off with some darker colors down here. I might even go in and add another deeper blue when I'm finished. I'm not sure yet. And um, then I'm just going to put some lighter colors up there. All right, with those colors, I'm just going to get my brayer and just roll. I might actually switch to a brush eventually to blend more. But right now I'm just trying to get the first layer of paint spread out on the canvas. You can see the effect you get with the brayer. With the different colors, that's why I like it for this. You just have to be careful of the lines, so just roll it very lightly. Alright, I'm going to give that a quick dry, and then I'll do the sides. I don't think I will actually need the other colors because these ones seem to have done a nice job. I am going to use this color. I'm going to put it on my craft mat and I'm going to use it to do the sides of the canvas. I'm trying to avoid using a brush but I may have to go back in and fill in some areas. There we go. Okay, my base coat is now dry, so I'm going to continue to add some more layers of paint. Um, I've added a white and a yellow to my palette. So I'm going to go ahead. And add some paint. I'm going to use this color to paint here to the top. Particularly in this area because I'm going to be putting the corals there. And as I go down my canvas, I'm going to keep adding more blue.
And there we go. If you want, you can touch up your sides. And then you can set this aside to dry. And once it's dry, we'll need the gel medium. And we will um, go ahead and start sticking on our collage pieces, our corals, and our um, sand. And if we use the eggshells, I haven't decided yet. And um, yeah, we'll just put it all together. Okay, everything is dry now. So I'm going to start sticking them down with um, some, this is extra heavy gel medium. You don't need extra heavy, it's just what I have because the stuff made with the Delight clay and Creative Paper clay is very lightweight, especially the Delight clay. So uh, you'll see me just playing around with these things a bit. It really is just me trying to figure out where everything is going to go. So I have put my matte medium on the base, I'm not sure if you saw that, and I'm going to begin sticking my corals down. Make sure you have enough that it grips because the canvas will sink a bit when you push it. And I'm going to put this big guy right here in the corner. You could also do this on a board or even a piece of cardboard you prepare. Just um, cover the cardboard with um, old book paper. And that makes a nice canvas. So as you can see, stuff made from creative paper clay doesn't have to stop as a sculpture it can become an art piece as well like a meaning a mixed media piece rather on a canvas it doesn't have to just be a standalone sculpture i use um delight clay in particular to make a lot of embellishments that i add to other projects that i'm working on I am actually thinking I'm going to pull these back off and put down more of the medium because I want to sprinkle some sand there and I'm realizing it's going to be quite difficult to get in there. So what I will probably do is just take them off one at a time and add more more sand around, um, more matte medium rather, or gel medium. I'm getting all my words wrong today. So what I mean is I'm just going to do that, lift that up and just try get, I'm hoping I'm going to work fast enough though, because once I put it down, it's going to start drying. So I'm going to have to work pretty fast to get down the um, sand. So I don't have to lift up all of them, but definitely some. So I'm going to turn the canvas a bit here. So I'll probably just do it in sections because it's very hot and everything is drying really fast. So I'm just going to go ahead and add more here. I 
I'm not care caring if it's lumpy or not because uh, the sea floor isn't really smooth, you know. So I'm just going to do that and then put that back down. I'll probably lift up this little one as well if it will allow me. No, it isn't. That big one actually should be fine. And then we can put that back down also. And there's one more here. Let me just lift this one. And stick that one back down. Now before I go any further, I'm going to sprinkle some sand in these areas. It will get on my car, but that's okay. We can turn it upside down and dust it when we're finished. Okay, great. Now I'm going to move along to the next section. And add my other elements. So, so I'm going to add the rest of my um, elements now. My other corals that are left. There's only four little ones that are left. So, And I'm going to have them going up the side here. So let me just go ahead and add them. I kind of worked out ahead of time where I was going to put everything. It's a good idea to do that. And if you're not sure, particularly in a piece like this where it's up and it's going to be hung up and it'll all fall off if you pick up the canvas, um, it's a good idea to arrange them, take a picture with your phone. And then just look if you like the composition or not. And then if you do, you just go ahead and glue everything back in place without a problem there. So let's just move that over a tad bit. I can add this one in here. that is actually my arrangement of course you can do whatever you like I do have the shells to add still so I'm not quite finished I just have to figure out where I'm gonna put those before I continue let me just add some sand around here because I definitely will not be putting a shell around there or in here All right, great. Now, I'm going to dig out those shells that I made. Anytime I make anything, I just put them in this little plastic container. It's great to keep these. This was from Mott's Applesauce. They're very handy for storing little things in like this, or also for paint, gesso, matte medium. Alright, so I also have these guys that I want to use up. This was on the shells are from another um, blog post I did, which I have the link for you below. And um, I made these with the light clay. And now I'm finally going to use them. So I might use some, I might, um, I'm definitely using some, but I might not use all. I'll just put them down wherever I feel I want one. And like I did before, I'll sprinkle the sand around.
I might even go back down in the bottom here and add one of these little ones because I definitely have a big space. Let me just move this gel medium. I'll just push that down because it's right in the sand so to make sure it sticks and we can go ahead and sprinkle more sand around that if need be but they're a great um, filler for little areas where you have um Space. As I said, I'm not using all of them, I'm just kind of working it out as I go along. All right, I'm going to turn the canvas because I can't really see what's going on up here. I like this one on the outside. So it's just pretty intuitive where you think something should go. some of these little ones it's kind of scattered there the great thing about having a mold and making your own is that it's just so much cheaper than constantly having to go out and buy those embellishments. I'm thinking I like him there. But I'm not sure. I am going to go ahead and add some of my crushed eggshells here. I'm just, I'm just pushing them down into the gel medium a bit. I think I'm going to put my starfish there and that might be enough. Of course, you can use um, regular glue to stick down the sand. Any glue that will work for glitter will work for the sand also. When it dries, you'll just dust off whatever you don't want, and then if you spray it with varnish, it will just give it um, hold everything in place. So I'm thinking that looks good. I'm definitely going to put this little guy at the side. some of that I 
and add some more of the eggshells maybe up there as well and maybe some sand right here at the edge of the canvas Make sure we get in all of those little nooks and crannies. I'm going to add more sand to this area here. And any other areas that need filling in. It's a good idea to have a brush that you can just, you know, poke under there. Use an old brush though. You don't want to use your good brushes for glue. Just make sure all the blue areas are covered. And then go ahead and add more of the sand and eggshells. I'm just using what's left on my table so it's um a mixture of both. And actually what I've decided to do is just a little bit more glue. Not a lot, and I'm just going to water it down a bit and just kind of brush it over areas. I just want bits of sand to catch. I don't want huge clumps, so I'm only doing a light coat of it. I might actually go ahead and add a little iridescent medium to that. Just, um, dry with like a pearly type finish it's an acrylic medium I don't want too much though I'm just trying to give it a more natural look I think I'm going to get a bigger brush 
I mean, my brush that I use for my gesso and just smooth that out because I don't want any of those lines to remain if possible. Alright, so what I'm going to do now, I'm not using eggshell hair, just the sand and I'm just giving it a sprinkle like that. I'm just fixing the edges, but I don't want it to look too uniform. 